Today I'm going to discuss creating a patch inside of a combinator. If you look here inside of my combinator, I have an NNXT that I've loaded my favorite drum sounds in and I would like to create a patch for this but every time I create a patch and I create a kit I don't want to create a combinator every time I make a song so basically what I'm going to do is create a patch a patch of this entire setup that I have here so I'll go here where you see the little disc symbol here you click on that and you save patch and I'm going to name this stony and I'm going to save it and every time I save it it will create a patch for me and every time I'd want to use this collection together, all I have to do is load up the combinator patch. You guys have seen me create a combinator patch. Now I'm going to show you how to load the same patch that I created back into an empty session. I'm going to go here. I'm going to double click on combinator. It opens up an empty combinator unit. Basically, I go to this folder, click on that, and I'll go to my desktop. And you'll see here, Stony Drum Kit Combine Combinator and I'll click on that and hit OK and you'll see that the same combinator that I created will load up in its exact settings when I made it. Thank you for watching me at wingsound.com. I hope the videos were able to help you guys out. Um, if you have any questions or any new ideas that you want to shoot to me, hit me at stony at wingsound.com. If you want your email featured, maybe I can do a video on a question that you have. Please hit me at the new social video network for audio creatives, Wingsound.